question on, on the bench in Bowman at the start. Is it, is it a case of Damien being dropped or is it something else? That's an opening question. Uh, no, we're always planning to get Bowden to go. You, you have to, you know, like he's played and started every game till, till now. Um, he shows some great form and we've got to give guys opportunities and build te depth in our team. And it's a nice chance for, for Bowden to play outside uh, TJ. Um, they've got a combination, they've played a lot of games together and they've played a lot of games together at, at the Cape Town, so lines up nicely. And, and TJ comes in for Cortez, the reasoning there? Uh, well, he's playing good footy. You know, they can match and match. Um, when he started, he's been great. When he's come off the, the bench, he's played well as well. And you got a great 19 combo. When you think about things like, you know, winless streak and winless, winless run in Wellington, yeah. uh, last home test of the year, last yeah. the championship test, how important is a, a statement performance this weekend? Oh, it's really important. It's something we've addressed. Uh, something we're really well aware of, unlike the rest of New Zealand public. Uh, it's a record that we're... You know, we're not proud of um, and the way you deal with records is by performances so that, that's been our main focus this week. Good performance and something that the crowd can be proud of and, and New Zealanders. Yeah. Scott, how much does the struggles with the bench, the finishing final quarters and all that become almost a self-fulfilling prophecy? In other words, it, uh, you know, kind of the guys feel the pressure and maybe you're a bit anxious. I mean, you, you, well, you're obviously looking hard at it but not finding the answers. Yeah, there's a few things that come along with it. You know, that we've looked at around the accuracy and the discipline and, you know, the experience of the group that, have, that are coming on. And, and then at the end of the day, you just focus what you need to do. What is it going to look like? So when you, you put it into action and how you execute, so focus on solutions around, around it and we train it and, and get on with it. Is that the main reasoning behind Patrick's inclusion back on the bench? Or is it just a case of him being fit again? Well, he's fit. You know, it's good, good to have him in, you know, 45 tests. Uh, experienced, just what you need, um, and Wadi Old Fox to come on and uh, has experienced uh, coming off the bench, starting, been in different environments. So, yeah, look, he's a, he's a wee caught all for us, you know. He's, he, people trust him, and uh, he's just what we need. There's been a direct correlation between now, now that we've had enough tests this year, between the amount of yellow cards getting given out and the sort of lack of scoring at the back end. Do you see that yeah. as something that's linked and how much work is going on to fix that? Yeah, well, obviously they are linked. Uh, when you get a yellow card, you're going to give six way points away on average and, you know, like, we're warned there's a little offside there and then you've got a tap ball in the air and, you know, the guy's owned it. It's, it's, it's something that's a little bit of individual and also as a, as a group uh, and, and we've got to be better than that and, good, and that's what we're focused on. What's been your message to Damien and what do you expect from him in that bench role? Oh, he's had a great season to date. He's of his game. He can get better and come on and be DMAC. You know, he can play. He's created a lot for us. He's one of the highest line, line breakers in the comp. He's, he can wave a wand and, and take a gap. So, and also come on and game manage what we need to do to, to, um, to finish the match. What does Billy Popkin need to do to get a run in this game? Uh, well, this week, obviously, just because of 12 cover with Dave, uh, we looked heavily at, uh, you know, Billy. We want him to play. We just felt that the fact that he hasn't um, played 12, no one has played 12, and, and with Geordie being out, um, Dave's accustomed to that position. Uh, Rico's definitely not going to be going into 12, or, or Billy hasn't played there enough, so we just felt with the mix of this back line, it's a hard call on Billy, you know, look, we'd love to have got him out in front of the, the home fans, but we just feel like this is the best thing for the All Blacks, so... He won't be far away, Billy. Yeah. Razor, you mentioned Rico won't be shifting into 12. A lot of fans on social media would love to see him on the wing, but you've stuck with him at 13. Yeah. What have you liked about Rico at outside centre this year? Oh, he's playing good footy. Um, he's distributing. He's, uh, he's, he's carried. He's made some great decisions. He's uh, been a really good leader for us. We think he's grown his game. And look, he responded once we'd, you know, we, we asked him to. Um, and his performances are matched. Uh, what we've asked and look, it's gone good. Can you speak on TJ? Um, you know, it's potentially his last, what well, is going to be his last test at home. Can you just speak on what he means to this team? Uh, look, TJ's a, uh, he's a character. You know, he's got a hell of a personality, which you need in any sport. Um, hugely proud, proud of his culture. He's um, someone that speaks what he thinks and um, great all back, you know, he's performed for a long period of time, he's come back from injuries, 
the fortitude that he's shown over the period of time, you've got to give it to him. You know, he fights back. He he's a be tough. You know, he he um, he's a competitor and a winner. So it's great that I could be a part of you know his career and and see how much it means to him as, a, as an All Black and uh, how much he's given to this team. Wayne Smith's also been in camp. Has he been yeah. working more with the coaches, with the players? What what came? What Just observing. About? You know, look, he's he's been in and around. He's been. Sending a few messages as he does, <laughs> he loves a review on <laughs> Sunday morning, uh, and that's great. You know, Lou, just little observations. He's been there, he's done it. As you mentioned the other night, he's um, had the job a couple of times. You know, have, um, he knows the enormity of the job and just a little bit of guidance and advice, and he's just observed and does what we've done well and, and made some suggestions as well. Razor, I know it's early in the cycle, yeah. so you know it's not really about. As a serial winner at the Crusaders, you know, the All Blacks have coughed up around the championship. Like, that's a trophy one of the last few years. Does that, does that hurt or are you, you're just focused on the main game? Oh, I think part of the All Blacks is, is winning. It's, you're winning and develop, you don't develop and win. Uh, and which I've said before, of course, it, you know, it hurts you that you uh, haven't continued that part of the legacy on. Uh, you know, look, we've all owned that we can be better in different areas, but we've also focused on what we're doing really well. You know, we made a lot of line breaks. Most of any team, we've we've focused on areas that we can get better to finish teams. You know, we had opportunities to win every game, and, and we haven't. So there's some key parts um, of going some some players there to come through. You know, we've got a lot of fresh faces. I think it's eight or seven, eight debutants and a lot of guys that are coming on into the game uh, at key times and, and how we can be better so there's a bit of a story to the whole point of it but we'd love to have had the rugby championship and the Bearslow. Scott, just, just, just yeah. a final one for me on a different tack. As always coach, would you like to play test on Anzac Day or are you happy to keep that for later, test for later in Super Rugby? In the middle of Super Rugby? Yeah. I think talk to Super Rugby first and see what they think about taking the double backs out of that, uh, and then we'll talk. Scott, is Ethan Blackadder injured? He's not listed as injured, but is he, is, did you consider He that? could have, but w w with the history of Ethan, uh, we, we've made a call, we think it's best for him to have another week. Uh, he's either zero or a hundred and something, <laughs> and we just felt for the longevity of um, this season for him, you know, he's got a few more games ahead of him, or, or us, and we believe that one more week shall make a massive difference and you know, might get a little bit of time for his beloved Tasman. And just on Mark Talia, um, yeah. a year ago he was at number one wing in the All Blacks, mm. now he can't get a look in. What, what do you need to see from him or what aren't you seeing from him? Uh, yeah, tough calls um, with, the, with the wingers. You know, obviously Caleb's played some good footy. Uh, the opportunities of the balance of it, it's just the way it's fallen, uh, just with, with the other wings and the combinations. but. Look, he's been training hard. He's given everything he he, he can um, to be selected, and it, it's just a it's just a call we've made. But we know how good he is, and you know he'll get another another crack. Razor, just, just a word on two points. Tell us about sorry. Can you tell us about Sam King? Yeah. Obviously, a huge day for him. Look, he's a guy that's been picked by multiple All Black coaches. And yeah. Really loved and admired what he offers, but he's not always been respected or supposed or loved by the public as much. Yeah. Do you have any theories? You know, why, why that is? Oh, look, he's one of those guys you've got to get to know. I think from afar you've, you've got an opinion, but when you actually seen and meet him and what he is and, and around the, and the environment, he'll say things what others won't. And I don't say that lightly. Like he, he and I mentioned earlier on, he's a bit of a sheriff. He, 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 you know, he's got in the holster and he'll bang, he'll, he'll fire and say, no, this is how it is and I'm going to call you out or this is, this is the all back standard. And his ability to to do it week after week in a tough position, he's broken his neck, he's, he's bounced back, uh, um, he's consistent on the field, but I, I think the, under, the, the leadership part for me is something I, I really respect, he's been great um, for us in our environment, uh, and, and he's performed more importantly, and you know, it's, it, it's, it's great that we can give him 100 off the back of, of playing well, um, and what he's done over you know his ten odd year career. Do you think there's some element while well, he wears number seven, yeah. he's actually transformed more into playing like a number six, and he's being judged as a seven 
Well, I haven't looked at it that way, Gregor, uh, but you could. Uh, he's He knows his way around the field. He, he's got a good GPS on him. He, he, he turns up in the right positions. You saw him get that hard ball on the ground last week against Aussie. He anticipates the game really well, but he reads it, and, and that's what we need around that leadership. That's a big thing for I've learned this year for us. That, um, our leaders uh, in every role that they play, and he's been great for us. How do I know that Leicester's going to be coming back to, to New Zealand? How much more influence did you have in that? Did you speak to him about trying to come back to New Zealand? Yeah, yep, I had conversations with, with Leicester along the whole way. He's obviously going to come back and have a family back in New Zealand uh, that contributed to the decision. He's um, enjoyed his time on the French Riviera, yeah, and he's... Um, you know, what's come back and you know, wear the black jersey. Uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. It's good to get one come back the other way. Uh, you know, my job is to create competition and depth in, in all positions and for the All Blacks to pick the best team. And, and, and you know, when Leicester's on his day, and he, he can play. Mr. Fraser, um, can I ask about Tupor Vaiti? Yeah. This will be his seventh test start in a row. Yep. He also was off the bench the first two, so he's in a break. How do you balance his exceptional form with also making sure that you don't overdo it with him? He is a pro, like man, like he is as good as a pro as anyone. Uh, first in the pool in the cold plunge in the morning, he uh, does his homework, he's smart, he's diligent and he, he bounces back on a Tuesday and trains really well so his recovery is right up there and we, we just want to keep him rolling. I think that's the biggest thing, he's found a spot, it was a little bit one of those forced decision selections because of um, Patrick. And then he's owned it, and then he starts selecting himself. Really, he's been that good. Scott, you mentioned before about mm. the line breaks, and yeah. a few more passes that can certainly you probably could have blown out the Wallabies. Mm. Um, they didn't. That's been a wee bit of a common theme. How yeah. far off <clears throat> do you think those are from sticking in and from <laughs> Yeah, uh, look, there's two things talking about it, and there's been so many small margins and gains and, and calls from adjudication and, you know, different moments and games that change moment, momentum and we've got to be better staying at the game, we've got to put their ball on the chest, we've got to be, have the coach throw it but but execute it. Um, so we've been, first thing is acknowledge it, that's the first thing about learning and then in doing it over and over and, and trust your skill, uh, give it at the right time uh, and that's how you turn it, you turn the, turn the tide on it. Mm. Do you feel like you are close to putting it? Yeah, look, we could have won every test match. We could have had all along the way. Yeah, we, we do, you know, like you look back and one thing we have learned of this, this test series, and I don't want to get more sentimental, we're certainly early in the piece, but the, every moment and every test match has just had little little parts of it, you know, could have done something different there, a little call or adjudication call gone the other way could have been different, but we still got to own it. And, 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 and the conversations have been way deeper probably if we hadn't. Uh, but now, now focus goes to the test in front of us. What areas does McKenzie have to do to improve and to uh, get started places more than... Who's that, sorry? McKenzie. We well, just started the last eight. Well, set, yeah. Sorry, what else does he have to do? Yeah, what areas do we have to improve on to be sure to start them? Uh, I think continue his current form. You know, like, obviously, you know, he's kicking off the tee really, really well. We kept the touch incredibly well. He's, He's been more consistent with his kicking. Uh, he's gone the team round, and like I said, he's created a lot of opportunities. Now we've just got to finish it, and he's a part of it. We'll, yep. What do you want to see from Bowden on the weekend? I want to see Bowden Barrett, 131 <laughs> tests at his best. Um, he, he's a great conductor. He'll get you around the field. Um, and obviously, that boots, you know, been impeccable with his own career, and, 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 and just crack, go and own his opportunity, put a bit of Heat on us to make sure that we've got two world class teams. Raises the Wallabies have dropped down to 10th on the world rankings, but what do you yeah. expect from them? Oh, uh, you know, a ferocious start. Uh, it's pretty clear that that's one area they can get better at, uh, and probably more of the same. More plays that, you, that, you know, we've obviously got done on that first play, which we game one there. Um, a little special, so we've got to make sure we, we stay on. Uh, give them, you know, the list of those freebies. Um, but expect a real passionate Wallaby side, you know. They probably can sniff it and 
Yeah, that'd be dangerous. Can you talk about the Lucy's um, you know, competition? Mm. We've got Jacobson and obviously Papa Lee. How yeah. tight is that to call the bench? Uh, it's always tight. Uh, Luke's been really, really good. You know, it's, it's, you make a call and uh, sometimes you back it and some guys take, take that opportunity and there's, there's small margins in those calls. And, and obviously we want to keep a consistency as much as we could. So especially in that four pack, they played together in the last uh, two, three weeks. Uh, and that's one area to, to the consistency of his selections and, and then Luke came on and made a, a great impact so that, that's what we've gone for before but there's not much in it. So I'm going to, to call it guys, we've got two guys waiting here. Yeah.